Now, man, this is something um, uh, dear to my heart for a couple of reasons, uh, mm -hmm. because you extended an, an invitation to me, uh, a couple of invitations. First, to join, and then second, to be an ambassador. And, and mm -hmm. that's the power circle, brother. Mm -hmm. um, let me tell you something, man. Man, I can say a lot about this, but let me tell you something. I know in within the power circle, I don't really say a lot, you know, unless I'm, you know, I'm, I'm speaking, uh, I'm leading the show, uh, whatever that particular mm -hmm. night. But sometimes I like to just sit back, man, and just listen mm -hmm. to brothers and get different perspectives, uh, because we got brothers from everywhere, um, man, Ghana, the UK, uh, Switzerland, uh, I mean, just everywhere, man, the rural mm -hmm. areas, uh. The hood, uh, mm. you know, East Coast, West Coast, everywhere, man. Black, white, everywhere. Um, you know, Italian, Spanish, wh wh whatever, man. You can name it. We we got it in the power circle, and uh, these brothers are gifted in different things. So sometimes I like to just sit back and take it in. Um, but this is a beautiful thing, man. You've created, and let me tell you, man. Sometimes and I know I missed last Sunday. But even before that, that's my first time missing, I believe. Or maybe I missed two. But sometimes, man, I'd be like, man, I might not catch this one because, man, I'm, I'm I'm tired. But then I'm like, nah, man, I'm gonna miss something, man. I'm I'm, I'm gonna miss something. Yeah. So I go I go only dial in, man. I don't, don't want to miss something. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man. Recently, it used to be like once or twice a month, but mm -hmm. recently, it's been once a week somebody mm -hmm. is hitting me up to join the power circle man and and brother you have created something and that energy is just radiating that frequency mm -hmm. is going out from all over and bringing brothers in what motivated you man to create the power circle brother you know what man like, to be to be honest I, in my mind i said you know what man we you know us men like like Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, man, we have to stay in a certain mode because we are the leaders. Right. It's like it's like leaders can't take a day off. You right. know, so, sometimes, you know, our women and our children can kind of just say, you know what, I just want to know, I don't want to be no role today. I don't want to, you know, a man, even on his worst days, still has to be the quarterback, man. Uh, so I said, man, we, we need a space, even if it's just for one hour of a week, two hours out of the week, man, we can come and just, and just you know, drop, drop, drop all of the egos, drop all of this stuff that has us compete in the world and just get in a space where we can learn from each other. Like, right. like, how does this brother, like, what are you experiencing? And, and, and what, I'll, I'll be honest, bro. I had no idea that it was going to turn out the way it's turning out now. Wow. Uh, I, I really had no idea, but, but like I said, it's, it's just a, it's a place for me to come in and, and drop the egos where, where iron can really sharpen iron. And the thing is, it's, it, it's difficult for us to be in rooms or it's difficult to us to be on certain platforms and social media and talk about certain things because, because if women are in the room or present or in the feed or whatever, then a lot of men are like, okay, brother is just saying that. Or a brother can't really be himself because the woman is in the room. Exactly. But when you take that out, man, just put just men in the table. Men, men can, can, can be emotional. Men can say, man, you know what? Like, like this is what I'm going on in my relationship. Like, this is how I feel about my finances. You know, it just, it just, it's a room, where, it's a place where men can be, can be vulnerable for one, yes. man. Like that's the, that's the place. And I, and I ain't gonna lie, brother, like that, I get a lot of energy behind sharing experiences with other men, when it's just men in a room. But, right. but what it's turning into, man, what it, what it turned to after like a month or so, it began to, to turn into like a mastermind by default, because right. it's like, even when I got off that call, I can still feel the energy of brothers in the room. Right, and it's like after you know when I first get on the call and we start seeing screens pop up, it's like, brother, I can I can feel y'all, man. It's like I can yeah. feel this energy, and like yeah. I was saying, my brothers last week, I said, man, this energy is built. We all have similar mindsets now. We yeah. all have similar missions now. Like there's a frequency around us. Yeah. So when you go out in the world and you're facing problems, you're making decisions. I said, brother, you have the strength of a number of men behind you. Because you're 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 in this atmosphere, brother. That, that, that's not even religious or spiritual. That that's scientific. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, right. you put a lot of things in a room and they're circulating, talking about the same things. They become one body. That's right. what the church is, man. It's it's a it's a body of people. Yes. And that's what it's become. It, it's, it's become a vibration. And I think we really need to start start going in there more, man. How we need to all start 
start moving in that, like, like understand yeah. what that is behind us, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's powerful, it's a bro. Powerful thing, bro. It, it, it really is. And I'm, I'm telling you, man, I, I know I have a chapter or a dream in the book uh, that talks about, you know, teamwork makes the dream work, but just mm-hmm. being totally transparent. I grew up playing sports, so I know about team concept, right? And, and I, was, I was a point guard, so I know about giving, you know, that type of thing, mm-hmm. dishing out, delegating, that type of thing, right? Leading. But working with a group of men hasn't always been the easiest thing for me, bro. I, I'll be real with you. So I was kind of skeptical at first. And, and then, you know, I, I got in. And I don't, know, I don't know if it's the timing in my life, my understanding has expanded, or... You know your leadership uh, that that brought this together and, and the bodies in it, I, I, or a combination of it all, man. But I shocked myself. I shocked my wife that I was a part of it, man. It's like, yeah. So yeah, I want to thank you for that, brother. I really yeah. do. And, and I can relate, man, because because like like before before that, you know, it, it was not common for me to just sit down and have a, a conversation with a group of men. Because yeah. and this is the reason why. Like I I, I always felt I always felt. Like, like overly protective of my energy, mm-hmm. and, and it, that's mainly just because I'm an empath, man. And, and I didn't learn yeah. that till like in my late 30s or 40s. Like I can't yeah. put myself in certain situations with certain men. Not that I don't like doing it or hanging, you know. It affects me. Right. Like it really affects right. me, man. So th- that's why I, I was always back. You know, I kept that. But when you get when you get men in a certain room that vibrate a certain place right. that, that that are trying to you know be great, man, and, and, and learn more spirituality. It's like, bro. Then I can I can open up my chakras or whatever, man, to that yeah. and, and receive that, man, and grow from that, man. I love it, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I love I love hearing other brothers get on there and, and sharing their experiences and, and exchanging knowledge and sharing books and all this stuff. It's a powerful thing, man. I, I love it, man. I, I love it, it. It is, man. Yeah, and I feel you on being an empath because because I am too, man. I, I can get drained, and so that's why that's why I used to reach out to you. It, it, well, I do still reach out to you periodically. Say, hey man, you, you need a break because I, because listen to you, you, you know, more more of it can be an introvert and an empath. I said, man, that's me. I said, I know this brother. I said, I know this brother. Yeah. If he's anything like me, I know he has to be drained because he takes in all the energy. So I said, let me let me tag this brother out for a night. <laughs> that's why I do it, man. I mean, it ain't I even, mean, a, it ain't even, a, bro. It ain't even a highlight me. Like it's still like I just know, man. This brother. Is an empath like me, I, I know he need a break, bro. I know man. he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. yeah, man. So I feel you on that, man. Now, speaking of the power circle, brother, man, mm-hmm. I don't know if you want to answer this, you know, oh, uh, on here, but often, often, mm-hmm. man, I get hit up with by women saying, what y'all gonna, what y'all gonna do co-op? What y'all gonna do co-op? Or when y'all going to do something for the women, I got the same thing with the book, man, a Toast to the Men. When y'all going to do a Toast to the Women, I got the same. So I knew this was coming. <laughs> what? You got any plans or even if you want to answer that? Yeah. Now, yeah. Well, I mean, we can talk like, like it's, it's weird because over the last three or four weeks, I've had a number of women uh, asking me that, you know, and I've had I've had a couple of women that, that went to the website and signed up. And through the little screen, and I said, hey, you know, like, you know, this is all men. It would help. Uh, my bad. And they had to, had to refund them. They had to, you know, back on out. Yeah. And they're like, hey, like, we need, we want to be engaged. I mean, think about this, bro. Yeah. Think about this. Yeah. Like, like, it, there aren't too many men moving like this, saying, you know what? Right. Like, like, we, we are a group of men that, that can go to a room and, and, and everybody's in a state of, man, let's just learn and grow and be great. Right. It ain't a lot of men moving like that. Most, right. most groups of men are still pointing the fingers, stand, still playing the blame game on why the world is doing that. So, so women, even though they can't see us, they know right. we're moving like that. They see small clips. They, right. they, and, and I'm not saying they want to be engaged in men like for relationship purpose. Right. They just want to be in spaces with men like that and want right. to grow from men like that to, to even be able to identify what a good solid brother looks like. Yes. So I think it's important, man. Like, like, and I've been thinking about this for the last week or two strong. Like, and, and I don't think, I don't think, I don't, well, this is my thing. I, I think that the power circle is, is a sacred space. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it's so sacred that it's very, I think we got to be very careful on just say, oh, you know what? Women come in and boom, boom, boom. But to, but to have some kind of maybe once a month, I don't know, some kind of maybe, maybe a separate circle or where yeah. we can kind of come in the room and, right. and, uh, 
and do and and yeah. I think we need to do something at some point. Yeah, we, uh, we definitely need to do something, man. I had a I had a actually I had a discussion, an in depth discussion, uh, this past Sunday, with mm -hmm. uh two two uh business partners, two females mm -hmm. uh business partners, and <laughs> we got to talking about that and. One of them, I know she's she's listening to, she's gonna listen to this, but uh, <laughs> one of them was like, I want to join the power circle. I was like, Nah, you you, you can't join the power circle. Like, why not? Like, why not? You know, and and I, I said, Well, several reasons. I gave the reasons because brothers really can't be vulnerable and open up if a woman's in there. I don't, I don't believe, but uh, but like you said, it's sacred, man. The power circle is sacred, and the topic that was coming up this past Sunday. Mm how to get your pockets off a of lean what was it uh mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i said now yeah. you would be i told i said now you would be a good person to be in this conversation because you've mastered that mm -hmm. i said but it's still for men i said but i'm gonna reach out to my guy so and we're gonna come up with something we have to man what, 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 what do you think we should be another room or what do you think bro it, it, it should you know this is what i told her and, and i got this from you <clears throat> I stole this from you, I borrowed this from you, and which I told her. I said, you know, the thing with uh, adding women to the power circle also is because we got some brothers in there are in the healing process, mm -hmm. and there's somewhat red pill. And I said, there, like, and I got this from you. I said, now there is a space, uh, uh, a, a space for red pill people, and that is a space that I think men need to go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what you say a lot, and I believe that men need to go through that space. I said, but the problem is, you can't take a person that's in that real red pill space at the time and put them in a room with women. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be an explosion. <laughs> yes, yes. I said, so we, what we got to do, we got to get people that's not in that state, mm -hmm. and we'll take on people that's coming out of that that red pill state, and then they can mm -hmm. all be in the same room, and mm -hmm. it won't be so contentious. It won't be mm -hmm. volatile, uh, clashing, you know. I said, so we got to be mm -hmm. very, yeah, we got to be very careful with that, man. But, uh, you know, we, we, we definitely, me and you definitely dive into it. That's something I really want to do. I need to do. We need to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got to do that, man. Big time. They, they wait, they're waiting, man. Yeah, we, we need to get on that ASAP, man, to be honest. ASAP, 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 brother. ASAP, man.